What's up everyone, my name is Tom and welcome to Techstream. Today, thanks again to AWA, we will be taking a look at the ARC-1 Bluetooth headset. So, as I mentioned, I did actually do a bit of work with AWA a couple of weeks ago on their massive Exos 9 Bluetooth speaker. Um, they also sent me over this ARC-1, which is basically it's a Bluetooth headset. Um, so I thought, yeah, we'll give that a bash. And uh, overall, we'll start off by saying pretty good. So the, this is a £130 Bluetooth stereo headset. It is a headset that is a microphone in here for making calls and everything with. And the packaging itself that it came in was just a plain brown box with a little note to say. The reason that they've used brown boxes is so they can give you a better product. Um, we'll let them off with that. So the ARC one. Overall, we'll start off with what we've got. It does come with a carry case, a bit of destructions, a sticker. Stickers are a bit sort of like 2002. Um, and a couple of cables. The cables that it comes with are actually nice braided cables. Um, red plugs, there is an auxiliary here, so that should you be connecting it to a device that doesn't have Bluetooth, or the batteries that run flat, you have that. And you have a micro USB for charging said headphones. So the headphones themselves are very simple in their design. Um, they are actually marked on the insides which one's left and which one's right. They do have nice uh, pleather, fake leather, uh, cushions, same with the headband, nice leather, it's actually real leather on the outside. They do have some a good amount of flex to them so they will fit a variety of head sizes and with a rather nice action they push in and pull out to expand the cups. But yeah they fit very well. They have a decent level of um, isolation from outside noise, I can't really hear anything that's going on around me at the moment. But yeah, okay, so button wise, quite a simple solution. We've got the grand total of four buttons, so you really can't go wrong. We have the on button, which once you turned it on, the indicator will flash and show you how much battery is in there. We do have a Bluetooth button and volume up, volume down. Nice and simple. So, not a massive amount of features or anything like that, but at the end of the day, it's just about producing a good set of headphones that do actually sound good and that is where these were well these were with these showed their strengths like i said they come in at about 130 pounds not cheap by any stretch i mean that's beats money which for all the fanboys yeah okay you're paying for the name there the sound quality on these actually impressed me now i've got a few decent sets of headphones lying around here um my studio reference akgs are my favorites and no, they don't sound as good as that, but that's a wide set of headphones that cost more than these. Um, battery life was good. I managed all day with no problem, so I went, did um, did a trip away, took these with me. They lasted me all day, no issue. Always nice and comfy. They never felt sort of like claustrophobic. They never felt sticky or anything like that. And the sound quality was good. Microphone, um, it's a little inbuilt thing with a little hole in the side, which is just there. They're always rubbish, purely down to distancing and spacing and where they are. Um, but it was more than adequate to make a quick phone call, say hello and check in. Would I want to actually make an important business call on them? No, <laughs> not at all. But that's not what they're for. They're, they're for making music and that they do very well. Um, would I recommend them though? Again, as with the Exos 9, the problem is price. Price and features. Um, I know Britain at the moment with Brexit and that a lot means everything works out expensive compared to America. They're 130 quid. That's a lot of money for to what most people is an unknown brand. Um, anybody that is probably under the age of 20 has never even heard of AWA. Um, it's it's a bold move. Um, I do think they could have maybe done with being. Uh, in the UK, the ideal price point for something like that to be competitive has got to be under 100. It's got to be two digits, 99 pound, at 130. Um, it's not that they're not worth 130. The problem is, the moment you go over 100, you've got a lot more competition. Um, as it is at the moment, they just don't have the brand name. They were, uh, they're new again. Um, 
they were a great brand. Now, it's an unknown, and spending £130 on an unknown brand is a bit of a risk. Um, now that I've used them, yes I would, but getting somebody else to spend that money is the problem. Um, I mean, they've got a lovely fit, they've got a lovely finish, they feel really solid. These are actually aluminium arms, solid aluminium arms. Um, the cups, they articulate to give you nice fits and they spin round and they go in and out. They're a great set of headphones. My problem is, they're a bit too expensive for a company that nobody knows anything about. Um, if they were to come out with something like this 20 years ago, when they were a big name, they'd have gotten away with it. But now, £130 on a set of headphones from a company nobody knows anything about really, um, that's the difficult thing. But I do think they are worth it. It's just now a case of persuading you lot that they're worth it. And hopefully they do manage it. They were, were a great brand back in the day. Obviously, whoever is involved in it now is nothing to do with the people over there. But the Articon Bluetooth headphones, with their nice case, nice cables, um, I think they've done a really good job. They're just a little bit too pricey. They're not bad. Um, and at £130, I would be happy. But at under 100 they would be great. Um, so there we go, guys. That is about it for today. So I will put some links down below as to where you can pick up a set of these. As always, if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Not a problem. And as always, if you want to see more of me, click that subscribe button. Thank you very much, and bye for now.